Hey, everybody, we're back with the creator and cast of The West Wing. People have characterized this show, and this is, this is, this is a question for Aaron, but really I'd love to get everybody's reaction to this, is that people have characterized this show as um, a political, por liberal, softcore, you know, political porn. Um, how would you characterize it? How do you look back on the spirit of the show and what you think it meant to the audience? Well, I don't think I get to characterize it. Uh, uh, first. I think that's up to the audience, but I'll go ahead. How about your intention? Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, my intention was that I, I feel like in popular culture, by and large, uh, our leaders ha have been uh, depicted as either Machiavellian or adults. Um, and uh, I just want to- Now we have both. <laughs> Uh, Sorry. I wanted to do a show uh, 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 set against this very um, exotic backdrop, the White House, uh, where there could be high stakes problems, but the people who work there uh, are every bit as competent and committed as the doctors and nurses on a hospital show or the detectives on a cop show or the lawyers uh, on, you know, on a David Kelly uh, show, uh, that they were going to win as much as they were going to lose. Uh, but uh, they were going to wake up every morning thinking about us and trying to do the right thing, uh, wanting to do the right thing. And, you know, uh, back when we were doing the show, you'd get mail, actual mail uh, uh, from viewers. The lion's share of it would always begin with somebody identif self-identifying as a Republican or conservative or saying, uh, you know, I don't agree with most of the opinions your characters express but I love the show, and the reason they they liked it was because they really liked the, the the sight and sound of competence and dedication. Uh, the show was a valentine to public <clears throat> service and to American institutions and democracy, um, and it just it showed a brand of patriotism uh, I, that we, we didn't commonly see on TV back then. By by the way, the criticism would come from both sides. I got a letter in my trailer after an episode we did on social security where Toby solves social security. And I had to go to all of the, the experts, the, cons the, the consultants on our set, Lawrence O'Donnell and Pat Cadell and everybody else to ask them how in fact this all really works because I don't understand it. And I, it's like Greek to me. And they all had their different explanations about how this plan will work completely different than the other. So I had to do it as if I was speaking Greek and just get through it. Weeks later, I got a letter in my trailer saying, thank you so much for tackling this very difficult issue. Here are 10 reasons why your plan won't work. Signed, <laughs> Senator from New York, Hillary Rodham Clinton. Oh my gosh. Did you write back and tell her that I didn't write that episode? I had left the show already. <laughs> I, uh, That's really important to me. I did not. Uh, before we go, obviously, as I said, you all love saying, Aaron's words, and Aaron, I, I asked you if you would give me the opportunity to do one of your fugue-like monologues, and you nicely enough wrote the outro for this interview tonight, so I'm gonna do it right now with your indulgence right now. Imagine the camera slowly pushing in on me with this American mm -hmm. flag in the background, and maybe some strings come in at a certain Score, point. Yeah. A West Wing special to benefit When We All Vote airs October 15th on HBO Max because we're freer. We're fairer, we're smarter, and we're better when we all vote. Because on this one day, election day, the most powerful people in the world aren't kings or prime ministers or presidents. On this one day, the most powerful people in the world are American voters. And American voters know in their hearts that this is not a reunion show. Richard Schiff, Martin Sheen, Aaron Sorkin, Bradley Whitford, and Allison Janney, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, you beautiful people. We'll Thanks be right back. Thank you.